Alex from Baby Room. And I'm Tilly from Tweenie. And today we're going to be talking to you about all the ways that children can mark make from three months to five years. So, in the Baby Room, we tend to give the children big paintbrushes. This way they can grasp the paintbrush using a whole hand palmer grasp. They can then dip into their paint and make marks all over their paper. As they get older, we change to a thin paintbrush. This way, the children can use a tripod grip to dip into the paint and also make marks over their paper. In Tweeny Room, the children that use the thin paintbrushes can often identify circles and lines. In Baby Room, one of our main interests is animals. We encourage the children to dip their animals into the paint and mark make with all different footprints over the paper. We then can talk about the different noises each animal makes and look at the different shapes that each footprint makes. Following on from the interest in baby room, the interest in the tweenies at the minute is cars. So we encourage the children to use their gross motor skills and mark make by using a pen on the front of them and they move them up and down and round and they can make various different marks. Like this. Some of the children in tweenie room have actually been able to identify different shapes and big and small lines. At our nursery, we have various tools for the children to mark make with, giant crayons being one of them. For the children that can't do fine motor skills, aka using a tripod grip, we encourage the children to use one or two hands to mark make with on our chalkboard in the garden or on individual chalkboards in the rooms. For the more experienced children, as they progress through the nursery, we encourage them to use smaller items, such as cotton buds that you can find in your house, as they will hold these with a pincer grip or a tripod grasp, and they can dab it in the paint, and they can make various marks all over their paper. Following on from household items, if you don't have any of these toys at home, Tilly and I have found different items that you can find at home, such as sponges, or a lot of children have great interest in natural resources and this is actually a great time of the year to find these. That is actually a great idea and the children can mark make using these objects in sand, soil, dirt, anything that you can find that moves. And it would be a great idea for you to just take them out and find these resources together. So if you find yourself out and about in the Christmas break, keep your eyes peeled for different tools like this. So using our sponges, we encourage the children to dip into the paint and look at their template and push as hard as they can. Obviously adapt this depending on how old they are. They might not need as much support. And then we shall be left with beautiful pictures. If you do not have a template at home, you can cut templates out of potatoes, onions, any fruit and veg that you have. And it also encourages the children to explore through their other senses, smell, taste and sight. For our more experienced children who are looking to go into school, we like to practice their name writing. So what we would do is we would draw out dots in the shape of their name and then get them to use our special handwriting pens to trace over the letters. For our children that have been doing this for a while, they tend to already write their name before they go to school, which is something that we're all just so proud of. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask us. We hope you found this helpful and informative. See you soon!